So here we are taking a look at Work Together 3-3, um, and we're still going through and journaling seeing our transactions that we did similar for 3-1 and 3-2. Um, first thing you'll notice is we have our uh, accounts up here on the top that we're going to use. Those are the only ones. Uh, take a look at our instructions. It says journalize the following transactions on the next line of page one of the journal. Source documents are abbreviated as follows. C check. Our receipt, which we have used previously, we do have a couple new ones. We have an S for a sales invoice and a T for a calculator tape. So let's take a look at this um, type of source document here, S, sales invoice. Well, let me give you a heads up. You know how I give you a hint for um, C check, C cash, C credit? Well, sales invoice. If you have a sales invoice, you are going to be affecting sales. So you know one of the accounts that you have to affect is going to be sales. And there just happens to be a special column for sales in our journal. So keep that in mind when we're looking at transactions. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first transaction. Paid cash for rent, $1,000. Okay. The first thing you have to do is put the date in of the 12th. You will notice when we work through the journal that our transactions are entered in here in chronological order by date. The oldest transaction will be on the top and the most recent transaction will be on the bottom. Paid cash for rent, $1,000, C4. Um, so the source document is C4, so I know I'm affecting cash as a credit. Um, so that's going to be my credit account. I need to figure out what's debited and my rent, is, rent expense is going to be debited. And you'll notice that I have my transactions in order for my source documents also because it goes from C2, C3, C4, and I could have M's in there and all of that would be fine as well. In fact, this is an error. This is supposed to be M1, a type of one um, in the book. Okay. The 13th, receive cash from sales, T13. Now, let's look at this source document, T13. T stands for calculator tape. Basically, the calculator tape is what's going to go through and come out when they go through to record what happened in our cash sales, like in our cash register. That's going to be the tape that would come out of it. So T, you know, is the tape, the 13. The number that follows the T is always going to be the date of the transaction. So when you see T in a number, those are not going to be in chronological order. You're going to have T13, then maybe you'll have one on T25, because it's going to be whenever the business went through and, and does their cash and credit card sales from their cash register. So again, T cal stands for calculator tape of 13, again, is going to be the date. So I know the dates here are going to be the 13th. So receive cash from sales. Receive cash. Hmm. First account that I'm going to be affecting is going to be cash right here. The other account that I'm going to be affecting is going to be sales, cash and sales. Look at both of them are special counts. They have special columns here. When you have a transaction that you're recording that uses special columns, you need to type in a check mark. But look what it says here. Type a V to indicate a check mark in the account title and post reference. So normally I would just do a check mark, but there is no check mark key on there, so I'm going to type in a V, and the V indicates a check mark. Right here is my source document of T, standing for calculator tape. 13 is the date. And just know this if you put a check mark in the account title, you need to also put a check mark in this column called post reference. We're going to spend a whole chapter just dealing with this one. So I'm affecting sales as a credit and cash as a debit. Remember, I always have to have a debit and a credit. I cannot have two credits. So this is how you record a transaction or receive cash from sales. The next transaction, sold services and account to L row $510, um, $510 S1. So source document is S1, sales invoice 1. Put the date in here of the 14th. Sold services, sold equals sales. We have a special column for sales. Um, basically what happened is somebody came in and I performed a service for them for their business and we need to record the fact that they're going to pay us later. So sales is going to need to be credited and we have to figure out the other account that would be debited and that would be accounts receivable L row because accounts receivable, he is a customer coming from us and he's going to pay us at a later date. So we're going to go ahead and do accounts receivable L row source document is going to be S1, sales invoice 1. Accounts receivable is going to be debited $510, and cash is going to be credited $510. So I have a credit and I have a debit. 
The next transaction, paid cash for an electric bill. Okay, so the date is the 19th. Now, when I look at electric bill, I need to use one of these accounts up top. And it's going to be an expense, and it's going to be utilities expense, because that is going to be what we lump all of our expenses together that we need to have to pay for lights, heat, water, those types of things. So I'm going to choose utilities expense, and that is going to be C5, C check, C cash, C credit. So I'm going to credit cash 148. If this is a credit, I'm going to general debit for 148. Okay, the 20th. Receive cash on an account from L row, $255 R2. R stands for receipt. So I'm receiving cash. So I'm going to have $255 receive cash. Cash is going to be debited for $255. L row is going to be credited for $255. And they are both assets that are being affected by that. So I'm going to do accounts receivable, L row. And we are going to do R2 for receipt number two. And then I'm going to credit that for 255, and I'm going to debit cash 255. The last transaction paid cash to owner for personal use. So we have to find our um, account um, for the owner, and that's going to be Norm Dermer. And I'm going to use drawing because drawing is going to be what we use when we record the fact that an owner takes something out of the business for personal use. Today is the 21st, so I'm going to do. Norm Dermer Drawing. Source document is going to be C6. Now, Norm Dermer Drawing is um, a withdrawal account. We figure out its normal balance by what it does to owner's equity. Drawing decreases owner's equity. The decreased side of owner's equity is going to be a debit. So I'm going to be debiting drawing $1,000, and I'm going to credit cash $1,000. The other thing you need to realize is C check, C cash, C credit source document here, so I know that cash has to be credited. So here is the work together. You're going to want to go ahead and continue on and complete the on your own as well as the application problem. Good luck, and if you have questions, you can email me. Uh, I will uh, look forward to seeing you later.